Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over how to install DaVinci Resolve 17. This is the first beta of DaVinci Resolve 17, and I'm going to walk you through how to install it and how to back up your database. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we come to our desktop here. We've got the DMG file, uh, because I'm using a Mac version, or you could also do the same procedure if you're doing a Windows installation with the Windows installer. So what we're gonna do is just double click on this. And now as you can see, it's opening the installation file. And it verifies it first to make sure the download was correct. Once that's finished, now you will actually see the installer pop up here. So what you have here is you have the installer for DaVinci Resolve 17 and the uninstaller if you decide that you want to uninstall this. The PDF that we have here is a document that outlines the new features that you will see in DaVinci Resolve 17. So what I'm going to do is I go straight ahead, double click on the installer, and it verifies it. Next we look at the installation window, click on continue. This gives us the important information about what's new. You have to agree to this. Click on install and then now once you've put your password in click on install software and now the installation procedure starts this can take a little while so you have to be patient during this time And now it says installation was successful. You can now close the installer. And now I don't have to have the installation. And I can now eject the installer. Like so. Okay, so now what we want to do is actually start Resolve 17 for the first time. So we come down to our icon click on that and now as you can see it's starting Resolve 17 now Now, as you can see, you're greeted with this window at the moment that asks you if you want to upgrade your database. Now, what I would say here, click on cancel at first, select the databases that you want to back up. So first back up all these databases. So what we do here is click on highlight this one, click on backup. basically prompts me where I want to do it. So I'm going to put it in my media folder, click on here, say backup database. Now it says that the database has been backed up successfully. That's okay. And we click here to the backup folder, back up the database like so. This one's a larger database, so of course it's going to take a little longer. Depending on how big your database is, how many projects will dictate how long it will take to back up. You may see the spinning wheel. This is totally normal. You don't see any progression while it's happening. You will then be greeted with a prompt that says that it's finished with the backup process. 
It's important when you're doing the backup of your database to just let it do work and not to interrupt the backup in any way. Because if you interrupt it, you can corrupt the database inadvertently. Now as you can see, it's finished. The database has been backed up successfully. Then we can move on to our PostgreSQL database. And we do the same thing here. This one's quite small, so it shouldn't take long to back up. As you can see, it was very fast. Now, what I can do here is because all these have been backed up in the, old, in the other format, I can now upgrade the database by clicking on it, selecting the Upgrade Database button, select Upgrade. And now all my projects come back. And I can do the same thing for this one too. Select Upgrade. This one takes a little longer, of course, because this was a large database. And there we have it. Everything's back. And let's do the PostgreSQL too while we're at it. Good. So now if I come back to my database called Blake, I can now double click on the Untitled Project and I am now in Resolve 17. Okay, so have a look at my other videos that I'm going to be putting on my channel now for Resolve 17 so you can learn more about all the new tools that are available for you in Resolve 17. And for training services, have a look in the comments below. And I've also put together a Patreon site, so this way you can support this uh, YouTube channel. And also, there's a lot of great perks that you have for whatever level of Patreon that you choose to select for that. So have a look there too. Have a look in the comments below and see you soon. Thank you.